let's talk social selling. So in this next module of training, we are going to talk about all things social selling. You are in such a lucrative business model right now. And with the power of the internet, you have so much potential. You can reach people all across the world. Now, here with Zaya, we are only open in three markets. So we've got Canada, United States, and Australia. But those are huge markets that you can tap into. You can sell and you can grow your team in any of those three countries. So with being in the social selling industry and having a business that operates online, you have an advantage because you are not just tied to one specific location. But with that being said, I want to make sure that you get uncomfortable because it's going to be uncomfortable to initially launch your online business if you haven't had any previous previous experience on social media influencing or being exposed online, okay? So this is a key part to really harnessing the potential within your business. When you launch your business, of course you're going to go to your family and friends first, right? They're going to be the ones that support you. But what happens in business, in this type of business model is reps come in and they, they work through what we call a warm, hot market, right? which is your family and friends, people that know, like, and trust you already, right? So you go and you sell to them and they buy from you and they support you. And then a couple months go on, if you're not working on continuing to build your audience through attraction marketing, and marketing, which I'm gonna show you, you can run dry. And then you kind of feel like you hit a wall because you have no more new blood is like what I like to say, right? So what I'm going to suggest that you'd start doing right now is set your social selling business up for success. And how do we do that? I like to phrase this in a way of turning your close sign to your open sign, okay? So if you're a social seller and you use the internet or you would like to use social media to operate your business, then you're gonna need a storefront, right? You're gonna need a, a platform to do that on. And that platform is your Facebook profile or your Instagram, okay? Now, as you go through the modules below, you're gonna see that I do direct you to operate or to open and launch a group, which will become your customer-based group where you can then go on and get intimate with your audience and share promotions and challenges and make it just your nice little community for your customer base to grow and thrive and to throw a ton of value at them, share new releases, but before we get into that, you're gonna need to operate from a standpoint of a business owner and you're gonna to wanna to use your social media to do that. Just like I had mentioned previously that once you run through your family and friends, you sometimes hit a wall because you haven't been networking and growing your connections with people to then create a larger customer base. This is why I want to address this now so that you aren't that person coming in and having explosive success through your warm market only to hit a roadblock when you've already gone through all your warm market. Yes, you will have family and friends that continue to buy, but most often they're not going to, you know, purchase every new release. And this is why you need to keep building connections. This is why it's called network marketing and this is why it's called social selling. We are out there promoting the brand. They can't go to a storefront and buy the, the product the company pays us to promote it, right? Instead of Zaya paying big box stores to carry their activewear, Zaya is paying us for our job that we do in promoting it, wearing it, sharing it, showing people, getting new customers, okay? So this is your job. So in order to prevent you from hitting that wall after you've gone through your family and friends, you're gonna wanna start now as a brand new rep, not just connecting with your family and friends, but focusing on growing your audience, your social media presence, and building your credibility. Most often we come in um, with not really using our social media very often. I know when I first started in this industry, 
I only had 179 friends on Facebook. Again, the number of friends that you have does not matter. I have seen people with a small following on Facebook completely crush it because it's all what you do behind the scenes and who you're connecting with, right? So keep in mind, it doesn't matter how many friends you have, but I wanna put into perspective that I came in with only 179 friends on my Facebook and I never posted on social media when I started in this industry. I only used social media to see what people were up to. I was mute on social media, okay? So this may be you, but you have to start at, at ground level and you have to build up that credibility and you have to use your social media as your storefront. Does this mean spam people with graphics and all this kind of stuff? No, we are going to show you below more strategic approaches that you can take, but you're gonna to wanna to be starting to present yourself. So what does your social media look like? You're gonna to wanna to take inventory of what it currently looks like. Is there a lot of political stuff? Is there a lot of just random sharing stuff? Or is it intentional? Is your storefront intentional? Do you have a, a maybe a nice uh, profile picture? Do you have a graphic? Do you have your bio? Do you have some links? Are you talking about the business opportunity? Are you talking about the clothing? Okay, so this is all stuff that I want you to start thinking about because you are going to bring people in through your social platform. Yes, you can get into conversation with people in groups and through Messenger, but they're always gonna resort back to your profile, especially if it's a new connection, and they're gonna say, okay, I'm gonna go check this lady out and see what she's about. And if they come back to your page and not see really much of anything, that's not very much credibility for yourself, right? They're gonna say, well, who is she? She's talking to me about activewear, but I don't see anything about that on her page, or I don't see that she's affiliated with anybody. So backing your credibility with your social selling business is key to building that, okay? It's key to having those connections and building those authentic connections. So what I'm saying is start getting in the habit of being present on your social media you know, posting regularly, maybe cleaning it up if it needs to, because you're gonna, that's gonna really solidify how you move forward to draw people in and connect with people as you continue to grow your business. That's not to say that there are other ways that you can't run your business. You can totally run your business through in-home, in-home parties, in-home events, or um, boutique shows. You can run your business however you see fit. But with today's day and age with you know lockdowns and closures, many of us reps focus solely on social selling online, okay? So, and it's very impactful. Actually, many of my most frequent customers and shoppers are people that I've never met and people that don't even live anywhere remotely near, near me. So if you're coming into this business and you're kind of unsure because you have tons of reps in your maybe specific area, not to worry because with the social selling business, you can reach far and wide if you do it correctly and if you focus on building that platform and building credibility using Facebook and Instagram or whatever other modalities you wanna use, but it's building that credibility through your profile, your pages and your Instagram. I can't make that, I, I wanna make that super clear, okay? that is how you're going to continue to grow, okay? So go ahead and take inventory and start getting your wheels spinning of where your page is at now and where you would like it to be. Follow the guides below because I'm gonna give you some ideas on how you can clean your page up and some posting ideas to get you going. And then from there, I'm gonna direct you to start a group so that when your customers come in and as they start to come in, you have a place to plug them into where they can openly share their outfits with, with the group, where you can openly share promotions and whatever it is that you want to make special in that group. Okay. So continue your learning on below and we'll see you in the next module.